morning everyone, John Page here. Just uh, stood out by the M500. We're about to take this aircraft uh, out of Oxford, which is where we are now. So not quite so sunny Oxford, but uh, we're taking the aircraft down to Rome, uh, where we're gonna um, pick up another aircraft, and uh, Mirage actually, uh, PA46 uh, 350, and bring that aircraft back to Gloucester for some maintenance. Uh, so taking the M500 down from Oxford to Cannes, uh, pick up some fuel, have a little bit of lunch, head down to Rome, uh, and then uh, a couple of days later, gonna bring back the Mirage back to Gloucester. So looking forward to a nice flight today. just above the clouds now and we're in the M500 we're just passing flight level 144 145 going up now to flight level 270 aircraft performing very nicely even on a warm day we've got 1100 feet a minute rate of climb at uh, 135 knots and uh, we are going to be very mindful of the ITTs as we climb you can see there we're up at 700 degrees but it's actually okay so no major big deals climbing up we're just in a little gap at the moment and uh, got about uh, 13,000 feet to go before we level off in our cruise and then we'll have a look and see what sort of uh, figures we're getting for our cruise with our true airspeed and should have a little bit of a tailwind as well on the way down to Cannes before stopping there and going on to Rome. We're in the cruise now at uh, flight level 270. We've got a, a nice true airspeed of about uh, Mine says 257, on the other side it says 258, so we'll go for the 258 because that uh, makes it sound better. So uh, we've got a ground speed of uh, 269 knots and you know, the great thing about the uh, M500 is we've got a nice decent cruise speed, now we're doing 270 knots and at the moment we've got a, a fuel flow per hour is 260 pounds per hour, uh, which is about 38 gallons an hour, so we're doing pretty well. We've got some nice tailwinds, which we can see on the satellite weather here. We've got a little bit of weather off to our left-hand side, and in fact, we're just sat just on top of a, a little layer of cloud. We've got minus 33 degrees outside, so we're not worried about any icing. And if we have a little check on the boots, we don't have any issue with that as well. Got to be careful sometimes with the temperature, uh, and if it was less than minus 35 degrees C, then we'd have to be very careful with switching on the de-icing boots at that sort of temperature. But that's looking good. So we're just going to check out what the weather's doing in Cannes a little bit further down. So we've got the weather there, 290 at 14 knots. And um, so we'll probably be coming in on runway 35 actually this time. And uh, Cav OK, 30 degrees, nice and warm. So that's going to be slightly nicer than Oxford. And no real weather or precipitation down there we've got a little bit uh, further up here as you could see earlier on but the aircraft's running very nicely very smoothly all as we expect and we're enjoying a nice flight so we've got an hour to go now to uh, can and uh, Stuart is being the hostess with the mostest and he is uh, sorting out our coffees 
fantastic, so I knew there was a really good reason for bringing him along. We do have loaded in our flight plan our Zettel 2 Victor arrival, which is what we're going to expect. We've also seen the wind, the wind is about 290 degrees, so we're going to expect to do runway 35, so we've loaded up the LPV approach for runway 35 as well. So all that looks good. So no major problems and uh, the aircraft is performing just like it should be. And we've got uh, 268 knots of ground speed and just checking here, we're going to land with about 300 pounds of fuel on board, which is perfect. So we're looking normally to land with about an hour of fuel on board and uh, that's looking good. So about uh, 300 pounds of fuel is about an hour and uh, yeah, looking nice. No major big deals. Coffee is being served and we'll be on the ground in about an hour. So we go, got can down there. We're just breaking off from the approach to go downwind left hand for runway 17 into can. So there's can there. And uh, we're at 2,000 feet just doing the visual maneuver to come back around and land on runway 17. And to my God, doesn't look Great little bit nicer weather here, it's 31 degrees. We're in Cannes on the southern France uh, coastline, uh, just waiting for some fuel and uh, gonna have a quick sandwich and then head ourselves over to Rome. Uh, pretty windy here, even though it's uh, 31 degrees, much nicer than it was at Oxford. It's actually windier here, so it's quite a challenging landing uh, coming in. And, uh, and but all good, and we're just waiting for the fuel guys. They're just up there at the moment, of, uh, just uh, fueling a citation. And uh, we're just gonna enjoy some of the views of some of the aircraft coming and going. And while we wait for the fuel. Back in the aircraft again uh, in Cannes, we've got fuel, took a bit of time to get some fuel, but uh, we're uh, pretty much ready to go now. So we're just putting the flight plan in to head down to Ube in, uh, in Rome, uh, Lima, India, Romeo uniform. So uh, got the engine started, got the air conditioning on, and uh, very shortly we'll be heading on out. It's a little bit windy, so it could be a, an exciting departure, but uh, it should be a really, really nice flight over to Italy. In the cruise again on our second leg uh, of the day and uh, we can see the beautiful island of Corsica down there. So it's just a short hop this one between Cannes and Ube in Rome. So we're just at uh, flight level 240. Fabulous tailwind, 51 knot tailwind. So that's great, it's giving us a 305 knot ground speed, which is fantastic. So not far to go, be less than an hour. We'll be descending down BFR into Ube. And uh, if we just have a look on here, we can see that we've got about uh, 37 minutes to run. The Italian coastline out of the left-hand window there. We're following a nice vertical navigation profile which we set up to be 2,800 feet uh, just at the Italian coastline where we'll then switch over to go VFR the rest of the way. But the aircraft's quite happily coming down just below the barber pole figure of 188, about 4 or 500 foot pounds of torque, and we're just cruising down quite happily on this beautiful clear day. Rome will be the next stop. Low level, just coming across 
the coast and now heading over for some mountains. Rome is in the distance and heading into Ube Airfield. And uh, we're currently at uh, 2,800 feet, just staying below the Rome TMA. Vertical track. Where we're doing little step downs. As you can hear the vertical track there. So little step downs, just keeping ourselves outside the Rome's airspace. And we're speaking to Rome information at the moment. They're keeping us advised of any traffic around. But beautiful scenery, stunning weather here. Uh, Roma, Roma. And uh, trying to understand the radio. No, it's amazing. Once you know what you're doing. Or even if you don't know what you're doing, it's still great. Oh, that's, that's, 